Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a Monday, Tuesday vlog. I'm gonna set you down. I'm so excited to spend today and tomorrow with you. First off, this past weekend was the first weekend I haven't vlogged in honestly possibly years without like being ahead because I was really inspired and excited to film an Abercrombie haul over the weekend. And I was like, why am I holding myself to the schedule? I'm my own boss. I can vlog whenever I want. So instead I'm vlogging Monday, Tuesday, which is really exciting. Today, we are going to Riverside to go to my beautiful friend, Jessie's house, who is a super talented photographer. She takes a lot of my pictures and we are doing the second summer morning shoot. So I'm about to get ready and take you along to that. I need to stop and get flowers on the way. And then tonight I'm going over to my friend's house because it is the Bachelorette first episode. We're watching that. And tomorrow's just gonna be like a normal weekday in the life. So I cannot wait to have you along for the ride. I need to both do my makeup and style my hair. I let my hair air dry last night, so this is what we got. I'm also getting my hair cut next week when I'm home in Texas, and I'm very excited about that. So for summer mornings, I try to do like pretty natural makeup. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also got natural nails. I am very glad they're shorter. They were just too long for me, but I don't love the color. It's not, I'll show you the picture that I showed them. I showed them this picture, which is like a little bit of like a sheer pink, kind of nude, and you won't be able to tell as it grows out. This color is pretty, but you'll be able to tell as it grows out. So I have to get them done sooner. I like to stretch it as long as I can. But as I'm getting ready, I only just put on like a base layer of foundation. I saw a YouTuber, who was it? I think it was Valeria um, Lipovowski. I'm so bad with the names, but she sprayed her beauty blender with a little bit of like a face mist before blending out her foundation and I've been trying it for the last couple of days and it has worked really well so you know just a little tip I saw that I figured could be good to share with you <laughs> one more tip <laughs> also side note I am still watching the proper people which missed it in another vlog I told you about this new this new rabbit hole I went down where they explore abandoned buildings. Still watching a lot of them, but another tip. I talked about this once in like a hair tutorial video. It might've even been an IGTV of like when your curls are too, too curly and you don't have time for them to just kind of fall naturally. Like typically day two curls look the best in my opinion. You take a straightener and you don't straighten them. You just tap it along the curl. You do this a few times and the curls will naturally fall and look, in my opinion, a little bit beachier, wavy, instead of so overly styled. And then my hair and makeup is done and I just gotta get dressed and get packed. We are going to head to Riverside to go to the Trader Joe's there just to make sure that I have enough time. And then also the flowers will be fresher if they don't have to forego an hour long car ride. See, better already. Last time I went to Jessie's house, I wore the same dress for her daughter's two year old birthday, but I wanted a long flowy dress for summer mornings and I kind of considered like picking one up on the way because I feel like I wear this dress every single day. But then I was like, that's silly. So this is what we're wearing and I put on a little jacket because it is very gloomy and cold outside weirdly. So this is just for the ride there and then I will take it off once I'm there. Okay, routing to Riverside. It says it's gonna be about an hour and I will show you behind the scenes of the shoot and I will show you what the products are for the next launch. Although I gotta say, my friends in the Facebook group already found out what, in my opinion, I mean, obviously I love all the products because they're mine, but my, my favorite item from this launch is, I, I already shared it in our Facebook group like a week before this vlog came out. So just saying, also it's so, it's drizzling. It's like drizzling. So my hair is not very happy, but that's fine. Okay, so I've stopped at Trader Joe's and everybody in all of Riverside, I think, came at once. There is probably, all the lanes were open. So maybe like 10 lanes open and at least 10 people in each lane. So at least 100 people in line. I got a variety of light colored flowers because we will be doing a couple like tablescapes. And then I got a ginger shot and the Synergy watermelon kombucha. Brooke and I's favorite kombucha is the Health Aid kombucha watermelon. So I want to see how this compares in flavor. Let's give it a test. 
Whoa. It's really good. It's very different from the other one. It's very lemony. Is there lemon in it? Cherry lime. Limey. That's what it is. I like it though. Oh, and this one's very carbonated in a really good way. I have a few minutes before I have to drive over to Jesse's. And do you want to see the products before the shoot? Are you curious? The ones I shared with my Facebook group are these linen notebooks in two colors. We have gray and this sandy color and they are hardcover and the inside is grid pages, which is so fun for any anything, for drawing, for bullet journaling, for just taking notes. I designed the little labels around them. I'm really proud of them. I love these so much. Oh, and they're gonna be sold separately. So you can buy one color, the other both. Yeah, I'm really excited about these. These are like my dream aesthetic. Then I wanted to do something small. So our site is free shipping over $35 and nothing's worse when you're like a few dollars short from free shipping, but everything is like $20. And then you're like, gosh, dang, I'm like $2 away from free shipping, but I don't want to spend another $20 to get it type of thing. So I wanted to do something like very small. And so we have these little grid sticky notes. They will be sold together in a two pack. That's our little small product. And I love how all this together is like a little stationary dream back to school. I don't know. And then our tablescape product is I really, really wanted to do placemats. And we have these round jute placemats that are like a dream come true and I think we'll be selling them in packs of two because at least out here in LA so many of my friends obviously we all have small apartments and houses so they have just the little tiny like bistro table two-seater in their kitchen and I feel like placemats are always sold in four six eight so it's hard to find just two if you only have a two-seat table so I think we're gonna sell them in sets of two so you can kind of like build whatever size you want they are made out of natural materials so they have a little bit of like an earthy smell to them I hope that doesn't bother people but I figured it's better than like very highly processed materials um, and it just looks so pretty and natural so I hope that people love them but I'm really excited about them and they're gonna be so pretty in Jesse's house so I cannot wait let's go shoot these things Ooh! I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you That's a wrap. Oh, so excited to see how those pictures turn out. It's a little bit after two, which means I'm officially fading. I need my coffee, but Jesse told me about a spot I've never been called Twee Coffee. 13 minute drive. That's doable. I say let's go try a new coffee shop and test it out. Hope it never ends. Let's be a more than friend. Taste test. I got an iced oat dirty chai. So a chai with an ad shot. I had the best chai of my life. We need to go sometime soon. At a new place in Altadena, which is like north of Pasadena. It's basically part of Pasadena called Amara Kitchen. It's their second location. Brick and I went because they just opened up and it was the best chai of my life. So standards are high, but the last one was a regular chai. This is a dirty. So we'll see how this compares. It has fresh cinnamon on top. Oh, it's good. It is a little sweet. That's what I liked about the other one is it wasn't very sweet at all and it was actually a spicy chai, but this isn't as sweet as some other chais I've had. I, I guess I just don't like sweet chai. I like spicy chai, but oh, it's good. It's gonna wake me up on the way home, which is definitely needed. Okay, let's go home to Brick and Max and I need to make some food and get through some emails and a few more work things before we strike back out tonight and go over to a friend's house for a bachelorette. I cannot wait. Guess who is home? Guess you is home. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, she just punched me in the face. I love you. Say hello to the vlog. Oh, you smell Ferris on me, huh? I wasn't cheating on you, I promise. Hello, I love you. I, on the way home, had an idea for a video where I just called your father and he told me you went out 20 minutes ago before he left home. So I know you're playing me, 
But um, I had an idea for a video that's definitely been done before, but I was just like, why haven't I done that? Where it's I buy the first like few Instagram ads that are advertised to me and then like do a haul and test the quality and stuff. And so now I'm kind of inspired to film at least the shopping portion now. So the deliveries arrive when I'm out of town. So when I get back the second half of the video, so I kind of think I might do that, but I also got to answer some emails maybe my meal prep a little bit. I just filmed that video and I ordered the most random thing. Like that is not how I was expecting the video to go. I am excited about, honestly, I'm excited to try everything and two of the things I would have maybe ordered on my own. Um, so I think it's gonna be a really interesting video. I'm not gonna spoil it. I don't know what it's gonna come out probably in a while, but and I just put my robe on over my dress cause it's still gloomy outside. Um, someone commented and said that it's no, now it's June gloom. But when it was happening in May, they said it's called May gray. But I'm gonna make lunch dinner prep for the week. This is so weird. I don't think I've ever made this in my adulthood. And I don't even think I've had it since early high school, but I've been craving chicken salad. So I'm not gonna follow a recipe. I'm just gonna do my own thing. And I cheated and got a rotisserie chicken pre-herb season to help with the seasoning. So I don't have to cook any chicken. I knew it was gonna be a busy week prepping to go to Texas. And I got egg free vegan -aise. What else did I get? Oh yeah, red onion. Do I wanna add avocado or do I just wanna like top it with avocado when I eat it? Celery, lemon, sorry, it's all in bags cause we ordered groceries before I get any comments about that. And then, oh yeah, I got walnuts. Walnuts and golden raisins. I typically don't like sweet things and savory foods, but I think if I do a lot of red onion, it would be kind of good. Is there anything else I wanted to put in? I have arugula if I wanna make it into a salad salad. And then I got brook sourdough and meat gluten-free sourdough if we wanna make it into a sandwich. But I'm just gonna wing it and let you know how it goes. I really didn't get as much chicken off of that as I was hoping to. It was kind of a kind of a skinny little rotisserie, but I'm going to add some celery, but honestly, honestly, I'm not a huge celery fan, so I'm not gonna add a lot. I'm just gonna slice it up very finely and add a little bit. I'll eat anything. I'm just not a huge celery fan. Max is going crazy at the chicken. I'm gonna add in a lot of red onion. I love onion. Is this too much? Maybe it's too much. Oh well, it's too late. Gonna roughly chop some walnuts. Walnuts are so underrated. They look like little brains. They're so fun. I'm really trying to flush out this lack of chicken. <laughs> I feel like I should chop up these golden raisins too because they're kind of big. I don't want like a huge chunk of sweetness. Yeah, that looks better. Add that in. And I guess just mayo, lemon, and seasoning and we'll, we'll try this bad boy. Okay, I just toasted some gluten-free sourdough. It's looking nice and toasty. We are going to do an open face because I've already had a full sandwich for breakfast. An open-faced chicken salad sandwich it would also be good with avocado but the sandwich i had this morning was like avocado toast sandwich style <laughs> so i'm a little burned out on toast and avocado today would look really good with some like green onion or something on top but this isn't for show <laughs> it's for experimentation there's a lot of red onion in here mm, mm. there's a lot of different flavors <laughs> but it's really good surprisingly things seem to work out a lot better when i don't follow any sort of recipe. Maybe it's that my expectations are lower, so it just feels better. But I kinda wanna get back to just just making things instead of following recipes. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Two exciting things. One, I gotta respond to this text. I don't know if you guys remember, I took an allergy test and found out I can't have peanuts anymore, and I missed peanut M&Ms. And at Target, we found almond M&Ms which are so exciting. And Brooke just found out that he can come to the bachelor night tonight because it's over at our friends who were friends with them as a couple. So her husband was like, is Brooke coming? And I was like, no, he can't. He has his live stream, but now he can go. Mm. Good morning. 
it's the next day and I am so excited for today. I feel like it's Christmas for a few reasons. Well, first this morning I'm shooting, I'm actually kind of nervous about this slash stress because it's a lot, but I'm shooting a big campaign for Microsoft, which is really cool. Um, a little nerve wracking, but this afternoon we ordered a Dyson and it should be delivered today. And there's a chance that our new bedroom rug will be delivered today. It says it's supposed to be delivered today, but like the tracking is very vague. So I'm not super hopeful about that. And then tonight, okay, there's a restaurant I've always wanted to go to in Pasadena called Bone Kettle, Kettle Bone, Bone Kettle. And I thought I couldn't eat there because it's an Asian fusion restaurant and they're primarily known for their bone marrow. And I called them and I was like, is there anything on your menu that's gluten free? And she's like, oh yeah, we could do this, we could do this, we could do this, we could do this without this, this without this sauce, this, this. And she like was going through all these things very confidently and I was like, oh my gosh. So I asked Brooke, I was like, do you want to have a date night before I leave for Texas? Because I'm about to leave for over a week. And he was like, okay, sure. It just has to be around the press conferences. And so the only time that works around his press conferences is 5 p.m. when they open. So we're gonna be heading out at like 4.30 for a date night dinner. But I'm very excited. I canceled my Pilates class tonight to go because date night is more important than working out. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it's 1 p.m. I started this 7.30, five and a half hours. Who ever would have guessed it would take five and a half hours to film a few Instagram stories and Instagram posts. And the funny thing is I'm still waiting for approval on my concept, but since I'm leaving out of town, I was like, I'm just gonna hope my concept is approved, but there's a chance that they could say, oh, we don't even like your concept. Therefore, none of the actual content is applicable to being approved. So that's a risk I took just because with going out of town, like I don't, I don't have any other time. <laughs> need to get up and move, maybe make some matcha past 1 p.m. and I still haven't made the bed. Um, a lot of times, sweet Brooke does it, but he's had a busy day too. Do you wanna come in? I'm gonna close the door because Brooke's in a meeting. Wanna come in? Come in, come in, come in. <laughs> there you go. I am so excited to eat weird food tonight not weird food but like out of the norm food if you guys don't know this about me i am such an adventurous eater and i really kind of get sad sometimes that celiac and allergies keep me from like being able to just eat without thinking if i could do anything i would be like an international food blogger i would travel the world and just eat other cultures foods like that sounds so much fun so i'm just so excited tonight i get to try things i've always wanted to try like bone marrow has anybody had it before? Comment down below if you have. Um, obviously I can't have it on the bread, which is like how you're supposed to eat it, but I don't care. And I've only had oysters once in my life. I don't know why. And um, so they have oysters too. I kind of want to try it. They have like a beef tartare I want to try. There's something else. They make their own bone broth, love bone broth. Um, and they have like small plates. So I asked Brooke, I was like, can we just get a handful of small plates so I can try as many things as possible? You would probably love it, Max, because it's all meats and stuff. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Uh huh. All right. And that's the wise wisdom from Max today. Oh, I shouldn't have laid down. Now I kind of want to take a nap. I had an interesting question. Do you like it more when vloggers that you watch, if you watch vlogs frequently, which it's like all I watch on YouTube, when they are like around their house a lot or when they're out and about a lot? Because I was thinking about Aspen and Parker are my favorite YouTubers and they never ever ever vlog outside of their house. And I was like, for me as a content creator, if I'm making content and making a vlog, I'm like, oh, I should probably go make sure to at least run an errand with the vlog today so it's not super boring. But then watching videos, I'm like, wow, my favorite YouTubers literally don't leave their house when they vlog. <laughs> so that was just a random thought I had. Um, let me know your thoughts. Max and I came outside for a little matcha break. He loves to lay in the sun for like two minutes, I think, to warm up and then he moves to the shade and I do the same. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have an update on the crab apples. I know it's like very bright lighting here, but some of the crab apples have got huge. Let me put on my slides and I will show you some really big ones on here. Like this one. Look at it in scale of like my thumb. Like I, I don't know how big crab apples get, but I feel like that might be like a third of the way to full size. Brooke is making fun of me through the door. Oh no, I don't know if you could see him. He just filmed me doing something, probably being out here in my socks and slides. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Show me. Show me. 
I already posted it. It's on Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Show me. No. Show me. Go check your phone. My phone's outside. Go check your phone. Show me. No. I'm so excited to eat bones tonight. Bone broth. Makes you go for a walk. Bone, bone marrow. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta get. I gotta get my. I gotta finish my matcha. And I want to see yeah, you. You. When you post it on Instagram, I just process that. Yeah. We Snapchat each other stupid things all the time. So it's, I always just, you, it's always just. It's always Max. just Max doing something. Oh gosh. Oh, I heard. I heard you asked Dave Roberts a question. Was it a good one? No, I asked bad questions. That's not true. Yeah, it's a joke. Why would I ask him a bad question? Uh oh, I don't know. <laughs> See what he posted about me on Instagram. Uh oh. Ready? <laughs> Wait, my my dress looks so short in that clip. Why does my dress look so short in this clip? My dress is not that short in real life, is it? Is it what the socks do? Make it look shorter? Because you were lifting up. Oh. The or whatever. That makes sense. Oh, man. Is it family walk time? Wait, we gotta ask him. I have a question on camera. This is everyone's favorite part. You already have called. Yeah, knows. but he doesn't know. Cuckoo body. Oh, slobber. Cuckoo body? He's like, yeah, I'm already on my leash. Ah, that's not as fun. Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know Hey, the rug just got here and we're actually leaving in less than 30 minutes for dinner. So I don't think we'll even have time to put it underneath our bed yet, but I wanted to take a look at it with you. So skinny. It's eight and a half by 10 or eight by 10 feet. But like the roll, <laughs> Max, the roll is so skinny, which is what I wanted. I didn't want it to hold a lot of dust. Let's see, Max. Let's take a look. Let's take a little sneak peek. Yeah. It's one, don't eat it. It's one of those that could probably be indoor outdoor, but it has like a woven material. Ooh, I can't wait to see this in our room. <laughs> He's literally eating the packaging. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. the best meal of our lives if you're in Pasadena bone kettle he is the place to go oh you hear your food now but the Dyson didn't come it's funny that the rug came and I didn't expect it to and the Dyson didn't come and I literally expected it to I mean it's only 7 p.m. I guess there's a chance that a late night delivery could happen but I need to edit this vlog tonight so I'm gonna say I love you goodbye Brooks adding the food toppers to Max's food Ooh, two tablespoons for every 10 pounds so four tablespoons for him science. <laughs> Thank y'all for spending the last two days with me. I love hanging out with you. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want to go all